Hi everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Horoscope. My name is Terence Gardino, and I'll be your host once again. Now that we are moving farther away from those intense, stressful eclipse energies in April that upset so many of our lives, we can start getting back to a more regular routine. But even more so after May the 19th, when Mars turns direct. Mars is the planet of high energy, ambition, and drive, and it went retrograde on March the 1st, which will slow down and frustrate our jobs and work projects. Fortunately, Mars only retrogrades once every two years. This week, relationship Venus is now transiting the sign of Aries until May the 28th helping us feel more confident and aggressive with, ex uh, with expressing our feelings. And communication Mercury enters talkative and restless Gemini on Wednesday, May the 7th through May the 28th, stimulating our minds and curiosities. Most of this week will be more relaxed and easy going until the weekend when planetary energies will be active again and could trigger the need for some important decisions. Monday, the moon is void of course till about 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time that happens when the moon is changing signs and not advisable to make important decisions or begin new projects. But at about 11 a.m., the moon enters confident and outgoing Leo through Wednesday, opening up opportunities to ex to, for all of us to progress forwards once again. Tuesday, with the moon in noble Leo, the sun aligns positively with expansive Jupiter giving a lucky day for traveling, making long-range plans, learning, teaching, or starting a new business or job. Wednesday, the moon turns void of course once again, but for most of the day, from about 4 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So best to rest, lay low, but it is favorable for continuing on previous work projects. Just don't commit to anything new, and like I said, or make really important decisions. However, um, intelligent communication Mercury enters Gemini on Wednesday, activating our minds with many ideas, but again, just sit with them, ponder these ideas, and don't act on them on Wednesday. Thursday, the moon will be in rational and work-oriented Virgo, but we may get a little spacey or confused when the moon hits Neptune, foggy Neptune, in the afternoon Pacific Daylight Time. Friday, the hard-working Virgo moon will be good with lucky Jupiter, responsible Saturn, and the confident Sun, giving a good day to accomplish work tasks before the weekend. But the moon turns void again about 11, about 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time until Saturday morning about 10.20 a.m but that may be best for unwinding before the weekend is in full gear. Saturday, the moon enters sociable and fair-minded Libra at 10.20 a.m. and remains throughout the weekend, giving a good energy for socializing. The sun, however, will oppose Saturn that can be good for taking on more responsibilities, 
but it is often a day that gives some worries or delays. Sunday is a day to be careful about relationship challenges as the day begins with loving Venus activated by passionate Mars that can arouse romantic feelings that may even be felt the previous Saturday evening when so many of us like to go out and enjoy ourselves. The challenge is that decision-making rational Mercury will be in a difficult aspect to evasive Neptune soon after the sensual Venus-Mars combo hits, suggesting that we may begin to second-guess our feelings and change our minds after initially believing we may have met a possible new romantic partner. But as confusing as these energies may be on relationships, it's quite positive for the creative mind. Thank you for tuning in today. Please tune in next week for the next segment. And until then, have a great day.